Sentinel Visualizer moves beyond traditional link analysis tools by providing easy to use automatic layouts. As you can see from this link chart, there are many crossing lines and the layout is not optimized. With automated layout tools, organizing a link chart is as easy as clicking the layout button. We can now see a more coherent view of the network with hubs and radials arranged to clearly show the composition of the network. Sentinel Visualizer provides a variety of layout algorithms that are accessible through the layout menu. For example, a circular layout will automatically arrange all entities in multiple circles. This layout makes it easy to identify highly connected entities and outliers. As with all other views, you can use the navigator window to see an entire view of the network and then draw a viewport to show detail areas. The circular layout can also be set to display items in a single circle. Through the settings menu under options, we can specify different parameters for different layouts. We re-click the layout button and now we see that all entities have been arranged in a single circle. With the viewport, we can now zoom out to see the entire network or zoom into certain parts of the network. Multiple layout types are supported. For example, we can use the standard incremental layout. We can also support force directed, hierarchical, and orthogonal allowing you to see different views of your data depending on the type of problem you're trying to solve. With automated layout algorithms, we can use Sentinel to find meaning in complex networks. However, additional functionality is needed to deal with complex networks that have many crossing lines. For example, if I query my knowledge base to show me all the links between entities on the screen, I can rapidly see that I'm beginning to lose the ability to see, even with layouts, the composition of the network since I have so many crossed lines. Sentinel Visualizer solves this problem by providing a network metrics feature. Network metrics allow you to use the automated analysis of Sentinel Visualizer to find centrality by a variety of fields. We click the Calculate button and values are automatically calculated for our current network. For example, degrees gives us a sortable list of the number of connections for each entity. We can therefore find highly connected entities similarly by the number of connections that they have. Or we can use values from social network analysis to show an even more refined view. For example, betweenness will show us connections and highly placed entities that act as spanners between subgroups. Similarly, closeness shows us entities that only have to make a few hops across their network in order to interact with or affect change in the network. We can also use gradient metrics by specifying a low and high value color and then selecting any of the values. This will allow us to quickly see a color-coded view of our chart showing the most centrally connected entities. We can click on any of the values in the gradient metrics field to see who are the most centrally connected or the most important nodes in any network. But how do we apply social network analysis against the ground truth of what a network is really comprised of? For example, we see an entity in red here that is a highly important entity. If we pull up Sentinel Visualizer's integrated knowledge base, we want to see what are the status fields associated with that entity. One of the status fields is the status of the person is deceased. So therefore, that person is no longer the most important node in that network. Similarly, relationship types can be used. In a relationship type model, we can see familial, organizational, and other types of relationships. We can also weight them to understand things like a cousin of is not as strong as a relationship as brother of. Sentinel Visualizer takes all of these into account and applies them against the purely mathematical social network analysis numbers. Now if we click on overall weight value, we can see that what was once an important entity based on ground truth or the facts of the real world is no longer the most important entity. This capability allows you to have hyper-accurate analysis of your network, something not found in other traditional or simplified link analysis tools. Sentinel Visualizer also allows you to color code lines based on values. For example, the relationship weight, a value, the reliability of the source that gave you the information, their credibility, and the overall information credibility. These features can be used concurrently to allow you to show hyperactive networks and allow you to be predictive.
Sentinel Visualizer also gives me the ability to filter data. I can select an entity filter and define certain criteria. For example, I could select just the entity types that I want to see. I could select all or clear all and then select specific entity types. For example, bank accounts, companies, locations, and people. By turning that filter on, I can now change my view of the data. These filters are dynamic and active. I can turn them on or off. Similarly with relationship, I can go through and select specific relationship types to filter in or out based on either the category or specific relationship types within a category, all which are user configurable. This ability to show both entity and relationship filters allows me to change my view of the data dynamically without affecting my underlying database. I can also use the squelch filter. The squelch filter allows me to dynamically assign a slider to any of the calculated values. For example, information credibility, which tells me how credible the source of my information was for, that establishes relationships. The low value shows me all, but as I move my filter to the right, I start removing information that's not based on highly credible sources. These interactive and dynamic filters can be used in real time in conjunction with entity and relationship filters, giving me complete control over what I see. Sentinel Visualizer also allows you to see the time-based nature of the network. By clicking on the time range control, I can now turn it on, draw a small time window, and then move through my network over time to see how it has changed. This feature allows me to see how networks grow and change over time, allowing me to establish behavior patterns and structural patterns that allow me to be more predictive. With the time range control, we can also add in the more traditional time bar control. I can similarly pull this off, resize it, and allow myself to see both views at the same time. The dynamic time range control plus the time view control. These features and filters allow me to look at the data that I need to see to solve specific problems, 